Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Terra Genesis episode 6 for the series here. You can see that I've got a lot of credits built up and everything. I've been playing a lot offline. Just trying to let our credits tick up and letting our planet slowly grow. So let's take a look right now. You can see temperatures in a great spot. Pressure is now in a great spot. Oxygen is starting to get there and we're slowly increasing water. So every, everything is starting to look good and we're getting really, really close to uh, being able to start researching and using and uh, getting animals on the planet. Um, we can take a look and see actually at the things here. So we could actually lower temperature a little bit if we wanted to try to go for perfection, but we're pretty close. So I'm not going to go too nuts on that. Uh, you can see that we're 97,000 out of 100,000 here. 193 out of 210,000. So we could mess with the oxygen a little bit more, get it a little bit higher there. And then water almost halfway there for our goal. We actually have a pretty small population, so we're going to want to focus on that. And money is all right right now, but we need to do a little bit for our mines. Now, actually zooming out, taking a look at the planet. You can see we've got an atmosphere. We're seeing water start to form in certain areas. Uh, is there anywhere else? I thought there was... Yeah, right there is a big... On one of the poles. Big old lake there forming. But... Everywhere else, we're still very low on water, so that's that's where we've got to get currently. So let's take a look at uh, the colonies first, or the colony. So right now, I've just got the cloud seeder. I've turned everything else off for now, because whenever I log off at nighttime, I always turn everything off because I don't want the game to get away from me, because sometimes when I wake up for work, I don't always get time to get on my computer. And if I leave these running um, when I'm at work and everything, it'll really screw us over. Now, there's a couple things I want to do here. First, I do want to upgrade the cloud seeder um, because that's what I usually leave on when I'm gone at night. So that won't run away from me like these other ones would. And then this was for oxygen and water. And I think I could turn those on and probably leave them on for an hour or two. Let me see. Because we know water needs to go up there and it says that oxygen could be a little bit higher. So why don't we turn those on? So we can actually go ahead, oop, not the mouse, we want to enable that. That'll get us some more oxygen and some more water and the pressures cancel each other out. And the habitation units are upgraded almost to, to complete. We'll finish that one there. During an intense dust storm, over a dozen travelers reporting a huge stone face. We've already seen that. All right, and then the next thing we want to do is get another colony up and running. So we're going to want to found a new colony. It costs us $5 million, which we've got plenty of credits now, so we'll confirm that. Go back to elevation, and we've got hope. So let's get the next colony. I'm thinking we want to stick somewhere where there's you know good elevation, but we can't be so close to everything. 14 kilometers so we could put a colony over here it's probably our best bet um, what do I want to call this colony I'm thinking let's see we got hope I guess we'll put a, a wisdom or let's do Um, actually, you know, let's just, let's call this one Sabout. <laughs> this will be my, my colony. I like it. There we go. All right. So we can actually go ahead and start working on that colony. So a few things I want to do. I want to work on getting our population up. It's going to be pretty important. We can go for the hab complex. That'll actually get us a little bit of oxygen. It gives us plus 10 oxygen. We're going to need to cancel that out at some point once oxygen reaches where it needs to reach. But let's go ahead and get the hab complex. And we can actually build the thing that's going to cancel out the oxygen. So... We are trying to increase oxygen with Sinovats. We don't have anything else to decrease it. So we'll actually go into research. And I do want to show that I did end up researching every single mining research, but I haven't set any of them up yet. So we're going to do that now. And we'll go back up to oxygen and we'll research the oxygen filter. So we can remove oxygen from our atmosphere. 
uh, once we get the hab complex up because we got to get the population up you can see we've got two culture points here I've already spent one on victory so I have 113 minutes before I can spend the next one because of the higher difficulty setting but I've got the two that I'm sitting on right now and our next point will be at a thousand population so we're slowly getting there for victory all right and yeah, so we'll build the oxygen thing there for that one. Let's go ahead and work on our mines here. So this one's all the mines are still up and running. I think the oops, I think the other one's going to be the same way. All right, and the R. So let's go ahead and see if we can find any palladium and then rhodium. Yeah, there's a lot right there. That's great. Holy crap. Nice. So we'll build that 1.2 million credits, but then you look and it produces 12,000 credits. That's insane. And if you get like uh, something that increases mining revenue by 200%, that obviously doubles that. And it's a lot of credits really quickly. There was another spot here that was okay. That one's all right. I think there was a better one I thought I hit. Right there, but that's going to be too close. Yeah. So once those mines are done, we can mine that. Okay, let's see. What about rhodium? Rhodium is extremely rare, but if you find a lot of it, it's worth so much. Even like building rhodium in areas that are like that right there. Where is it? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Right there. Like you're looking, you're like, oh, yeah, but about it's not right here. But watch this. That's a lot, too. I don't even know if I've ever seen that much rhodium. Yeah, another 12,000 credits, and it was way lower in kilograms. You can see here than the uh, than that there. Let me see if I can find a little bit more rhodium, and then we'll check the other one. If you got rhodium like all the way up here, it'd probably be 20,000 credits and just rhodium. But I've never, ever seen rhodium so rare. I've never seen it that high. Like, even if you built one right there, you'd probably get, like, 3,000 credits, which is really good. So, it's worth doing. But I don't see any more here. We could check our other mine on Smooth Scar here. So, that's 40,000 now just by building those two mines. So, let's do uh, palad uh, Palladium first or Palladium, I guess. Palladium. There's a decent present of it everywhere. Right there's a good amount. Let me see. I think I hit. Okay, you can use these to kind of fine tune it if you don't want to. Okay. Nice. And then, yeah, I ignore that. That's because I'm playing with a uh, emulator. A lot of people were asking too how I was playing with a cursor and stuff, and that's because I'm using an emulator on the PC. Which, if you want to do, you can download and do yourself. It's uh, pretty enjoyable if you want to play the game in the background. I tend to have the game running whenever I'm doing thumbnails or editing videos, so it's pretty handy. Ooh, ooh, whoa! Where is that? There we go. That is what I am talking about. Nice. So already up to 30,000. So we're going to have 80,000 credits with just two mines. Now you can build more mines, but I find that four, I usually build up to th eh, like three mines is kind of pushing it in management Four because eventually you do hit a point where it's like, you just don't need that many credits. Whoa, ho, ho, right there. You hit a point where it's like, you'll just get so many, like in my mobile game right now, I've got like 300 million credits or something and nothing to spend them on. I'm just waiting for the planet to basically terraform. 17,000 credits. Like I said, you can get that 20,000 every now and again. Oh, there's another really good spot here. What about anywhere else or there was another decent spot somewhere over here, right? There's a spike, but right here is a really good one. Okay, I guess that's about as good as it gets, though. I could. Right there is about the peak. Okay, perfect. I don't think we need to do any more. That puts us at a total 
credits 97 almost a hundred thousand credits i believe i do yeah i do have the mining revenue boost on though so it'll be only about fifty thousand. but still that means when i get on and like an hour or so before i go to bed there's going to be a huge flux of influx of credits there all right so that's it for this episode we've covered about everything so we're slowly working on getting our oxygen up just a little bit i wanted to increase that uh, temperature's fine where it's at. I could decrease it a little bit if I really wanted to min-max it. And I might do that off camera, but I won't worry about it here. Um, same with pressure. I could increase that a little bit if I wanted to. Um, oxygen, we're just going to increase that by the 60. And then we've got, we're building or researching the thing that's going to offset our HAB output. So we'll keep increasing that like this till we hit closer to the 210. Water, we're just trying to get up as much as we can population we're just working on a little bit here i'm not too worried about this we'll get the planet a little bit more of a livable condition and then we'll focus on population and then money's doing really good so with that being said i want to thank you all for joining me for this one i do hope that you've enjoyed it and i look forward to seeing you next time